What is up, people? Mr. Valley here bringing you another video. It's time to free Sergeant Bird. Ah, my good friend Spyro. The sorceress caught this naughty bird letting off rockets in her fireworks factory, but I'm willing to release him into your custody, provided you pay his outstanding fines. 700, no. Oh dear, Spyro, you really should pay up. I think he's pining for the fjords. Ah, okay. Ha <laughs> ha, what a sucker! Uh, but that is, it's a far, far better thing you do today, Spyro, than you have ever done. And, uh, well, so forth, etc. You get the idea. Sergeant Bird, 90068. Awaiting orders, sir. Um, I think you'll have to find your commanding officer for that. Hey, what are those things? These are the latest military hardware. DBX-9 rocket launchers, state-of-the-art. So why didn't you use them to escape? Because, because I have limited ammo, and I wanted to conserve it for this. <laughs> Say, where'd you come from? I thought dragons had all been dead for a thousand years or something. Well, the rumors of our extinction were slightly exaggerated. We just wanted a little peace and quiet. Well, if it's peace and quiet you want, you should stay clear of my homeworld for a bit. I reckon I'll be blowing up Rhinox for weeks. Cheerio! Ah. That was cool. Forgot to read the sign. If the sign is readable. I have to train the hummingbirds. They must be in peak physical condition if we're going to take on the sorceries. Okay. Sir, the situation is this. Yesterday, at 1845 hours, the Rhinox invaded. We defended as best we could, sir. But without your leadership, we couldn't put up an effective resistance. By 1900 hours, the rest of the squad was captured, and the Rhinox had complete control of the base. Okay, so I like that they kept a similar sounding voice actor. They should have done that for the rest of the game. Because that actually sounded pretty similar to the original. I've seen somebody, yeah. You! You did. Look at how he walks. You are saved. Ooh. Wow. I like how it pauses for a second before they actually start going. Cool. Oh, wait, you talk. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you're gonna say the same thing. Over and over. I recommend you take the enemy out with your rockets by pressing the attack button, sir. That's a good recommendation. I recommend you Oops. Take yeah, you can press triangle to do this too if you want. Okay then. She was going to say about blowing the door down with your rockets too, but I somehow messed that up when I... <sighs> Never mind. You did. Boom. Oh, boom. Oh, shoot. He surprised me. Get it, damn it, Sparks. Why won't Sparks get it? Especially when you're in the air. That one was close. That one was even closer. Oh. 
Boop. So, I've captured the enemy rations. They won't march far on empty stomachs. Siegfried. The Rhinox had blocked the way out of this next cave with a security door, and I don't think you'll be able to blast your way through this one. I recommend you land on the weights and carry them to the pressure-sensitive security switches on either side of the door. When in position, press the charge button to drop the weight. Press the action button once to look down, and press it again to look up, sir. Good idea. Did I miss anything over here when you teleported me like that? Oh, can you do this to kill them now instead of using the rockets? Yep. But you need the rockets anyway for some of them. Okay, so I'm going to do this. He almost dodged it. Got you, you, you. I think that's everybody. So, the Rhinox had blocked the way. Oh, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I got it. I got it. We save you. Request permission to cheer, sir. Interesting, they actually add a little sparkle to that um, to tell people, oh, it's right here. And then you press that. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, yeah, I used to do this where I would drop it on him. Oh, I missed. Damn it. Come on. Ah, oh, damn it. Got him. Okay. Okay. Boop. Where's the other one now? Oh. Got it. Boom. Unlocks the door. Keep fighting the good fight, sir. We're almost there, and I'm, uh, right behind you. Okay. We got this. Now, instead of using triangle, I'm just going to try to attack him normally. And see how well this works. It looks like my missiles are homing missiles, so that's kind of cool. And it works on the balloon, too. Nice. I like it. Boop. That was just his head and I still got him. Good. I really love Sparks' ability to pick up gems from further away. He just won't do it while you're flying for some reason, even when you're right next to it. See? Look. 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 He won't do it. But as soon as you land, he will. Keep fighting a good fight, sir. Okay, you are... Ooh, I was talking to her. Will you cut it out? It's a little harder to get the 
Lady Bogues. Got it. Okay, so he'll get the ladybugs when we're in mid-flight, though. A little weird. Mission accomplished. It's great to have you back, sir. Thank you, Ryan Lee. Rescue the rest of the squad before we can launch a raid on the sorceress's castle. Yes, we do. Okay. Oh, come on now. Got him. I don't remember what these are for. I thought they were specifically for. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought they were specifically for the, uh, whatever they're called, but yeah, it's actually for these things. Okay, see? I had to pick that gem up because Sparks refuses. How do you drop all of them? I forgot what it was. Okay, let's just, yeah, because I wanted to replenish ammo. Damn it, really? Last one. Okay, now replenish the ammo again. Because we need to go back to get the other gem containers. Was this one? Okay, that didn't do anything. No, it was just the gem container one, yeah. Drop. Boom! And it blows a big hole in the ground. Then you just drop. What the heck? Oh. I thought the game, like, messed up on me because it was so dark. Saved him. I'm ready to be debriefed, sir. Okay, one more. I know exactly where they are. Okay. His view is a little bit messed up when you go through the cave. Now, which way was it? I think it was this way. No, it wasn't. Wait a minute, is that a balloon? Yep. I'm glad I caught that. Okay. You're dead. Wow, his rockets go so far. I can just stand here and just keep shooting. Look at that. Get it gets him all the way down there. Wow. And I was just aiming for the balloon. Oh yeah, I didn't talk to you yet, did I? Reporting for duty, sir. Oh, that's all you say? I 
know there were gems up here somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Skill point. Where's the chest again? There it is. I don't need the rest. Ooh, what does this trophy say? Sir. As Sergeant Byrne bomb all the chests. Cool. Yeah, Sergeant Bird definitely controls a lot better than the original. I do like that. Okay, now we gotta go through the tunnel, which may be a little difficult, because although he controls better, the camera is a little bit weird. Okay. That worked. That was not all the chests, uh, the gems. Before I was captured, I recovered this egg from the enemy, sir. Cool. Roy. You don't talk anymore? What are your oh. orders, sir? You do talk. Okay, obviously the gem, any missing gems are over here. Oh, see, first person mode would be cool. Look at this. First person mode would be awesome. Okay, Sparks, where did I miss it? Up? Up or straight? Where are you saying? This way. Oh, right here. Okay. Where next? This way. Like all the way in, you mean? Yes. Up. Oh, balloon. Thank you. There it is. 500. And it costs 700 to free Sergeant Bird, so... I only lost 200 gems, technically. But I also need Sergeant Bird to go to Molten Crater, so I may get my gems back. Actually, let's see. Um, Molten Crater. I am missing 109 gems. So, technically, I will only have been negative 89 gems. Although, also, I need... Sergeant Bird for other stuff, so eventually you make your money back. Using Sergeant Bird levels alone is what I mean. Sheila, I'm pretty sure we already made our money back with her. Boom! 100% level complete. Now. What am I doing? I don't even know why I left that. Well, yeah, I know why I left that way. But, um, so now we got to do Sergeant Bird's part in Molten Crater as well. 
in this episode. That way it makes more sense. And we'll do the skill point at the same time, since that one's actually really easy to do. I never showed it in my original playthrough, so it's, a, it's pretty cool. Come on. Luckily, there is a shortcut now. Which in Spyro 2, there never was. Step inside, old chum, Sergeant James Bird. Okay, I'm trying. There we go. You don't even talk? I thought you talked. I don't remember. I'm not aiming for the birds. I'm playing a game of hide and seek with my friends. If I can't find where they've hidden their heads, they won't let me join the Tiki Lodge. Help me put them back together and I'll make you an honorary member. Isn't that funny? They hid their heads everywhere. So here's the first one. Now, what we do for the skill point is we actually leave his head here. And we bring all the other heads together. Oh, this is just the body. Okay. And you gotta avoid, like, the fire and all that at the same time as avoiding the birds, which respawn, by the way. Okay, so what you do is you just put the heads next to each other. And you need five heads. This one's actually one of the easier ones to get. Ooh. Ooh. What am I doing here? Okay. Third head already. Blow that one open for an egg. Luna. Forty four eggs now. Shoot the, shoot the freaking balloon, thank you. There we go. Okay, I got through. We drop this head. One more. And it's always hard to remember which way you've been. But uh, these, the chests and gems and stuff typically show you where you've been and where you haven't. But uh, sometimes I think it's, it just takes you back where you were because there was more than one entrance. So yeah, this is the one that has more than one entrance. So... I have already been there. Where have I not been? I think that was a balloon. Balloon? Yes. Where have I not been? Oh yeah, use sparks. That way. Yeah, an easy one.
Then you put his head next to them and watch the skill point. <laughs> That's the skill point. They all start dancing together because they're all next to each other. Oh my god, I just dropped his head in the freaking lava. Now I gotta go find it. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, so we're gonna do this. I dropped his head in the damn lava. Really? His head almost went in the lava too, because it didn't. Fucking bird. What the hell, man? Really? What was that? Why did his head go in the lava? What was that all about? Look. Okay, I'm right here. Okay, good then. Those birds spawn way too friggin' quick. Okay, there's no birds here. Damn it! I have to find the, their, the other guy's heads again. Because the stupid detection system on, on the heads didn't work well. Man, is that stupid or what? Okay, here's the one head. These birds spawn way too damn fast. Are you serious right now? No. I don't remember it being that difficult. Okay. Where's the head? Not that one. Well, this is going to be a little annoying. I'm pretty sure... I No, I did not check this one. Okay. Thought I did. Okay, where's the last guy? Over here. Okay, this one probably is gonna suck because. Oh, there we go. Take this egg as a sign of your honorary membership to the lodge. Ryan. Cool. Well, that's never happened before. I hope it's not a bad omen. That's not a bad omen. Sorry. So I'm missing a gem. Where are you pointing? That way. Aha. There it is. We are now at an even amount of gems again, thankfully. Awesome. Man, those tiki heads were actually a little annoying. Perfect. Okay. Back to Midday Gardens.
Okay, bunnies, let's see if you give me a life. Nope. Okay, so next episode we will be going to Enchanted Towers. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.